Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today I'm gonna to be going over some style rules that every guy should know. Fashion can be a bit tricky, I know that, I'm sure you feel that way too, so today I'm gonna to do my best to help all of you. So these are seven style rules that every guy should know that will honestly just make your experience getting ready in the morning a little bit easier. And of course, there are really no rules to fashion. You can wear whatever you like and whatever makes you happy, but these are just some guidelines that I think will really make your life a lot easier and make sure that you're looking your very best. So let's get started. Number one here is that fit is everything. The key to you looking good in your clothes and your clothes looking good on you is the way that they fit you. You could be wearing the most expensive pieces of clothing and I promise if they don't fit you right, it's going to be a complete waste of your money. Seriously guys, do not overlook fit. It is the most important thing when it comes to fashion and the biggest rule that all of you guys should make sure you're aware of. And I will say here that if you need to spend a little bit more money to go to a tailor and get your clothes to fit you perfectly, I really think that it's worth it because again, like I mentioned before, you could have you know the nicest clothes and if it doesn't fit you right, it's not going to look the way you probably are picturing in your head and the way that you want it to. So it's totally okay to spend a little bit extra to make sure that your clothes fit you absolutely perfect. And I'm well aware that clothes being incredibly oversized is what's trendy right now, but keep in mind, just because something is trendy, it does not mean it looks good. Rule number two here is to match your leathers. I think it's okay if it's not exactly the same color, like if the shade of brown is a teeny bit different, but you wouldn't want to be wearing a brown belt with a pair of black dress shoes. You're going to want to try to keep it a little bit cohesive. Like I said, it's okay if it's a little bit off, but the closer the leathers match, the better it will look and will create kind of a seamless look from head to toe that is not going to draw your attention at the middle. Um, it's really just going to make it a lot more seamless and cohesive, which we love. And whichever color leather you choose is totally up to you. Black is great. Brown is great. It really is totally up to you and your personal style and kind of what you find works the best with your wardrobe and gravitate towards. So either one is totally okay. Both get an A in my book. Number three, I've got proportions matter. And this is one that I see a lot of guys overlook and it absolutely ruins their outfit. You really wanna create aesthetic harmony by dressing for your body type. This is incredibly important to keep in mind and wearing the wrong proportions can throw off your entire outfit. So you really wanna make sure you know your body type and know what looks good on you and what doesn't. I'll give you an example here. If you're a heavier set guy and you wore a super skinny tie, Tie, it's going to make the tie look incredibly tiny and it's gonna make you look a lot bigger. So again, keeping in mind your body type and what works on you and what doesn't is very important even for something as little as a tie. So when it comes to proportions and making sure things fit you the way that they're supposed to, another thing you wanna keep in mind is your pant length and your sleeve length. So for example here, if you're wearing a dress shirt, your cuff should stop where your palm meets your arm. So that's just a little good rule of thumb for if you're wearing a dress shirt. And when it comes to trousers, we really wanna make sure they're not too short, but we also wanna make sure they're not too long. Either one is not good. You really wanna find that happy medium. So you don't want them to be too short and looking like you're wearing high waters, like there's a flood going on, but you also don't want them to be too long and look like there's a puddle forming around your foot and it's really just your pants. So really finding that happy medium where there's that one clean break is going to look the best. Number four are the rules of the undershirt. Your undershirt should never be showing. If you're wearing a button down or some kind of collared shirt, you really wanna make sure you can't see that undershirt poking through around the collar or the neck. I see so many guys make this mistake and it's such an easy one to fix. My advice here would be to wear a V-neck style undershirt underneath your button ups, your button downs, all of that good stuff to make sure that you can't see it poking out or making a little guest appearance around the collar. Number five is no wrinkles allowed unless you're wearing linen. Linen naturally wrinkles and I think it's okay if there's a little bit of natural crease in it. It's pretty much impossible to keep a linen outfit unwrinkled. If you've ever worn linen, you totally understand what I'm saying. You sit down and there's a crease behind your knee. I mean, it's just impossible to keep the wrinkles out. So how do we avoid wrinkles? Well, number one, we make sure that we're hanging things the right way. I've done an entire video on how to take care of your clothes and in that video specifically, I talked about what kind of hangers to use with what type of garment to make sure that things aren't getting wrinkled and ruined, so definitely be sure to check that out. I'm not gonna go into super detail here because I did an entire video about that already. Number two, get yourself a handheld steamer. These are super nifty and in my opinion, way more convenient than an iron. I have a little mini one that is perfect for traveling, perfect for storing under the sink so it's not like in my way all the time, like one of those big industrial style steamers. So they're super convenient and nice to have on hand. If you've got a wrinkle going on and you're in a pinch, um, these are the perfect thing to grab to make sure you are wrinkle free. Well, your shirt at least. Number six, and something I say all the time on this channel, and that is 
less is more. And specifically here when it comes to mixing patterns and adding in accessories. This is an area where I see guys get a little bit carried away. And again, it's totally up to you and your personal style. If you're a little bit more out there and eccentric and you really like to you know, experiment with different patterns and adding in a ton of accessories, if you're Johnny Depping it, that's all up to you. You wear what makes you happy. But I do think sometimes it gets a little bit too extra and can kind of defeat the purpose of adding your little personality and flair into an outfit and can just look a little bit tacky and gaudy, so keep that in mind. So it's totally up to you at the end of the day, but if you're asking for my advice, which I assume you are if you clicked on my video, I would recommend keeping it simple, less is more. And I know simple outfits and outfits made up of basics can sometimes feel a little bit boring, so if you're a guy that likes to play it safe when it comes to what you're wearing, I think adding in a watch is a really great accessory. Maybe you're not into pattern mixing or getting crazy with accessories and all of that, but you wanna add a little something to up your outfit game, a watch is a great accessory to add in. And another little tip here that I have to say because I care about all of you is say no to novelty. Trust me, just trust me on this one. And my last little tip on this list is boxer briefs are better than boxers. It's time to get rid of those old American Eagle boxers that your mom bought you in high school that have tacos on them and get yourself some nice solid boxer briefs. Not only do these look better when your clothes are off, they also look better when your clothes are on. Especially if you're a guy who's wearing slim fit pants, I see a lot of guys wearing tight pants with boxers underneath and I can see the boxers underneath the pants. It's just a disaster or guys are like sagging their pants and their boxers are hanging out and it just is a mess. I should not be able to see your saggy old American Eagle boxers underneath your nice, beautiful trousers. Get a boxer brief instead. Trust me on this one, guys. From a girl's perspective, I promise they look better. All right, guys, that is all I have for seven style rules that every guy should know. If you guys like this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.